Today on MTG and Pat, we're getting stuck into another Corset 2020 bundle. I just opened one yesterday, but you know what? I couldn't help myself, had to get another one. And with me to do the pack blessings, we have Liliana here. So let's hope she gets us the crazy pulls we're looking for. And I was, like I said in the previous video, a little disappointed they don't include the booklet this time round. But we do get one of those nice oversized spin downs, so we'll take a look at that. And I'm curious if we also come across that misprint from the previous video. That was a very curious thing indeed. And okay, so we've got this here. A little info card, no booklet alas. And I did not open this up to look at the poster. So that's something you might not be aware of. They often include a poster here. So, okay, so we've got Chandra attacking some beast, Corset 2020. Not too crazy. All right, we'll get that out of the way. And use this box and get cracking here. So we've got 10 packs of juicy goodness, hopefully. And we will do the pack blessings momentarily with Liliana. That is how it's done here. And we will crack those momentarily, get a quick look at the other stuff if you missed the previous video. So we have some little tip cards here, nothing terribly exciting. A land pack, and then this thing is interesting, so you get a foil card here along with some foil lands. So get a close look, we get a Chandra's Regulator, legendary artifact for two. And if you activate a lower tier ability of a Chandra Planeswalker, you may pay one. If you do, copy that ability. You may choose new targets for the copy. Pay one, tap, discard a mountain card or a red card, draw a card, and I like the foiling on that. And then you get one, two, three, four. Okay, so four of each basic land in foil. So that is a nice addition. They're going all out with the foils in this deck. Or not in this deck, in this bundle, I should say, or fact pack, if that's your preferred terminology. Okay, let's get stuck into it here. I'm curious, yep, the card stock is definitely different than the booster boxes. Those tend to be pretty rough, but I've noticed maybe a different printer. Okay, Angelic Gift, Healer of the Glade, Audacious Thief, Yoked Ox, Ripscale Predator, Fortress Crab, Centaur Corsa, Fire Elemental, Cloud Seer, and Uncommons we have Gauntlets of Light, Aether Gust, Flame Sweep, and a Mythic Cavalier of Thorns. Nice. Creature Elemental Knight 5645 with Reach. Trying to enter the battlefield, reveal the top five cards of the library, put a land card from among them onto the battlefield, and rest into your graveyard. And when it dies, you may exile it. If you do, put another target card from your graveyard on top of your library. Okay, start a new mythic pile there and a dismal backwater. Ho ho ho, nice. Foil rare, Temple of Silence. So this is a land, enters the battlefield tapped, and when it enters the battlefield, scry one. You can tap it for white or black. Very cool. And an elemental token. Okay. So we are cooking with gas already here. We're not cooking with Chandra. Alas. She was in the previous video, so she needs a bit of a break. Next we have Act of Treason, Duress, Inspired Charge, Stone Golem, Wolfkin Bond, Infuriate, Silverback Shaman, Reduced to Ashes, Fairy Miscreant, Agonizing Siphon, Uncommons, Noxious Grasp, Goblin Ringleader, Creature Goblin, 2-2 two, two for 4, very nice, Loaming Shaman, and the rare is Flood of Tears. Hopefully not us when we don't do as well as we're hoping. Sorcery for six. Return all non-land permanents to their owner's hands. If you return four or more non-token permanents to your control this way, you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. And a mountain and a wolf token. All right. So has anybody started creating some crazy brews? Have you done any wolf decks? Or maybe goblins or some other tribe? Let me know. Next we have Undead Servant, Aerial Assault, Squad Captain, Vial of Dragonfire, 
Mammoth Spider, Pack Mastiff, Negate, Plummet, Bone Clad Necromancer, Blood for Bones, that's pretty cool, Seb McKinnon artwork, very nice. Portal of Sanctuary, we get a Chandra Novice Pyromancer, and the rare is Wake Root Elemental, Creature Elemental 5-5 five, five for 6. Pay 5 green, untapped target land you control, it becomes a 5-5 five, five Elemental Creature with haste, it's still a land. Nice, and a Rugged Highlands, and a Swamp, and a Soldier Token. Oh wait, that is a, oh a foil, nearly set that aside. We get a focus on that, Foil Swamp, very cool. And before I forget, there is actually a spin down in here, so we'll do a quick comparison. Look at that giant oversized spin down. Pretty cool, very hefty, and you got the regular one looks sort of dinky after getting that huge one. Okay, next pack. And has anyone pulled a Chandra from this set yet? Or better yet, a foil Chandra, and I'm not talking the uncommon or the rare. The Mythic Chandra! Alright, Squad Captain, Duress, Aerial Assault, Act of Treason, Sleep Paralysis, Boneclad Necromancer, Goblin Smuggler! And he is indeed smuggling goblins. Very strange. Silverback Shaman, Lavakin Brawler, and Uncommon's Blood Soap Altar, God's Willing. Spectral Sailor, and another Mythic, yes! Omnath Locus of the Royal. They drink Creature Elemental 3-3 three, three for 4. When it enters battlefield, it deals damage to any target equal to the number of elementals you control. And whenever a land enters battlefield under your control, play plus 1 plus 1 counter on target elemental you control. If you control 8 or more lands, draw a card. Very happy about that. We've got two Mythics now. Swamp. And a foil, Blossoming Sands, that's pretty tasty. Put that over there, and a wolf token. Okay. So, what is the record number of mythics you've had from a bundle? We actually pulled five in a video this year. I'll pop a link up in the corner to that video if you haven't seen it. Craziness. So, I hope we can beat that today. Dawning Angel, Feral Abomination. Disenchant, mind rot, be warned, this channel could rot your mind. Lavakin Brawler, Unsummon, Netcaster Spider, Goblin Smuggler, he's smuggling more goblins, Natural End, Shock, and Uncommon's Meteor Golem, Fry, Air Elemental, and the rare is Thunderkin Awakener, Creature Elemental Shaman 1 2 for 2 with haste. Whenever it attacks, choose target elemental creature card in your graveyard with toughness, less than its toughness. Return that card to the battlefield, tap and attacking sucker at the beginning of the next end step. And a Windscarred Crag and a Wolf Token. Okay, I nearly was asking Liliana where are the crazy pulls, but we did get two Mythics, so maybe that would be a little greedy of me, but we must have more Mythics, please, Liliana. Next we have Fathom Fleet, Cutthroat, Glaring Aegis, Zephyr Charge, Blade Brand. And I will say, uh, cracking these packs is much nicer than the ones from the booster box. They're so smooth and silky. Vorst Claw, Chandra's Outrage, Sleep Paralysis, Greenwood Sentinel, Frilled Sea Serpent, Sedge Scorpion, Uncommon Sky Knight, Vanguard, Vampire of the Dire Moon, Barkai Troll, and we have been trolled, and Legion's End Sorcery for two. Except target creature and opponent controls with converted mana cost two or less, and all other creatures that player controls with the same name as that creature. Then that player reveals their hand and exiles all cards with that name from their hand and graveyard, and a forest. I think that's a non foil, and an elemental bird token. And who thinks they should do these in foil? That would be fantastic. I like the new the new uh, design on these tokens. And for some reason, we've got a soldier token tucked over there. All right, we have four packs left. So that must mean we have four mythics, right? Fingers crossed. We have Maniacal Rage, Sorcerer of the Fang, Steadfast Sentry, Bone Splinters, 
Goblin Bird Grabber, there he is, and if you haven't checked out my Goblin Collection video, if you're a fan of Goblins, you might want to check it out, I'll pop a link up in the corner to that. Winged Words, Scorch Spitter, Frost Links, Natural End, Dagger Sail, Aeronaut, Goblin, and now I, this is the point in the video where all the cards go everywhere because they're so slick. Hard Cover, Uncommons, Herald of the Sun, Wolf Rider's Saddle, and the rare is a Temple of Silence. So a non-foil version this time. So we saw that one already, that's pretty cool. Blood Fill Caves, and a Zombie Token. Okay. So two Mythics. That in itself is pretty decent for a bundle. But we always could do with more. Yoked Ox, Act of Treason, Duress. Inspired Charge, Agonizing Siphon, Vial of Dragonfire, Mammoth Spider, Pack Mastiff, Negate. And here's the Goblins again, Goblin Ringleader. Alright, pop him down there. Blood for Bones, Seb McKinnon, you are a genius, sir. Rapacious Dragon, and the rare is Marauding Raptor. One for the dino fans out there. Creature Dinosaur 2, 3 for 2. Creature spells you cast cost one less to cast, and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, this guy deals two damage to it. If dinosaur has dealt damage this way, it gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Very nice. And forest and a foil cryptic caves. We're doing rather nicely with the foils, I must say. And a treasure token. Down to the last two packs. What will we find? I hope we don't get hosed on these last two packs. We have a Stone Golem, Undead Servant, Aerial Assault, Squad Captain, Plummet, Boneclad Necromancer, Vorst Claw, Chandra's Outrage, Sleep Paralysis, Greenwood Sentinel, and Uncommon's Gauntlets of Light. Lightning Stormkin, Threshing Brontodon, and the rare is Dungeon Geists! Creature Spirit 3 3 for 4. With flying when it enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls that creature, doesn't untap! During its control, as untap step for as long as you control Dungeon Geists. And a Windscarred Crag, and a Golem token, and this is probably one of my favourite tokens from this set. Just love that artwork. Final pack here. We need the crazy pools, where are they? Okay, let's continue here with Epicure of Blood, Raise the Alarm, Feral Invocation, Unholy Indenture, Seb McKinnon again, Bone to Ash, Griffin Sentinel, Prismite, and incidentally, who is your favorite magic artist? Do you have one in particular? Is it Seb McKinnon or someone else? Leave a note in the comments. Growth Cycle, Chandra's Embercat, Sage's Row Denizen, Uncommon's Devout Decree, Tomebound Lich, Empyrean Eagle, and the big finish is a Leyline. Nice. Leyline of Combustion, Enchantment for four. If it's in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. And whenever you and or at least one permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability and permanent controls, Leyline of Combustion deals two damage to that player. All right, and an island and a Jani's Pride Mate token. Okay, so we did get a Leyline, two Mythics, a couple of juicy foils there, and these bundles set me back 33 bucks on Amazon. Um, sadly, I would have picked them up at my LGS, but my LGS is now out of business, so I need to find somewhere else to go. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And we've got a whole bunch more spicy pack openings coming up, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.